Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss in detail about the compounding of plastics. Initially, let us know about the plastics. Plastics can be defined as high molecular weight organic polymers which can be molded to desirable shape by the application of heat and pressure. So, plastics can be molded to any desirable shape by the application of heat and pressure. But initially, the plastics are soft in nature. So, that means we can call raw plastic as a resin or binder. So, because of the soft nature, it cannot be directly used to prepare the articles. So, in order to improve the properties of the plastic we need to add several additives which will improve the properties of the plastics so the process of including various additives into the plastic by mechanical means in order to get homogeneous mixture with improved workability is called compounding of plastics. So what is the importance of compounding of plastics? In order to improve the properties of the plastics, several additives will be added. So the process of including various additives into the plastic by mechanical means to get the homogeneous mixture with improved workability is called compounding of plastics. Let us discuss in detail about the various additives. So initially we have to start with binders. So in general during the compounding of plastics, we require at least 7 additives. So, how many additives are required? 7 additives are required. Namely, binders, fillers, plasticizers, stabilizers, Colorants, Catalyst and Lubricants. So, in order to improve the properties of the plastics, we require seven additives, namely binders, fillers, plasticizers, stabilizers, colorants, catalyst and lubricants. Here we have to discuss in detail about the each and every editor and few examples. So let us discuss about the importance of binders. So coming to the binders, the very purpose of binder is to hold the constituents present in the plastic together. So, what is the purpose of adding binders? Binders hold the constituents of the plastic together and it results in the formation of a homogeneous mixture. So, in other words, Binder can be called as a resin. It is capable of holding all the constituents present in the plastic together. So, these binders may be natural or synthetic. So, binders can be natural or synthetic. So, here we can classify plastics into two types. 
thermoplastics and thermosetting plastics so in order to prepare thermoplastics we start with thermoplastic resin so binders can be classified into two categories namely thermoplastic resins and the second one is thermosetting resin so for the preparation of thermoplastics we start with thermoplastic resins and for the preparation of thermosetting plastics we start with thermosetting resin so coming to the good examples of binders cellulose derivatives are good examples for binders so cellulose derivatives will act as the binders coming to the second ingredient it can be called as filler so coming to the fillers the importance of fillers is either to reduce the cost of the plastic or to increase tensile strength of the plastic so what is the importance of fillers so fillers are added to plastic either to reduce the cost of the plastic or to increase the tensile strength of the plastics so again these plus fillers can be classified into two categories so they can be called as particulate fillers or fibrous fillers fillers can be classified into two categories namely particulate fillers and fibrous fillers so the fillers may be organic or inorganic in nature so coming to the importance of particulate fillers they are added to the plastics to reduce the cost of the plastic so what is the importance of particulate fillers they are added into the plastic exclusively to reduce cost of the plastics coming to the good examples of particulate fillers it includes silica clay wood floor etc coming to the fibrous fillers the purpose of fibrous fillers is to increase the tensile strength of the plastics so tensile strength of plastics can be increased by the addition of fibrous fillers coming to the good examples of fibrous fillers it includes carborundum quartz etc so that is about the fillers next one plasticizers so the importance of plasticizers is to impart plasticity and flexibility to the plastic so what is the importance of plasticizers it imparts plasticity and flexibility what it means let us consider the plastic material so in general 
there exist secondary intermolecular forces between the polymers so whenever these plasticizers are added to the plastics then what happens these plasticizers are capable of neutralizing the secondary intermolecular forces present between the polymer chains so with the result what happens the plastic becomes more flexible so in that way whenever the plasticizers are added to the plastics it imparts flexibility in what manner these plasticizers are capable of neutralizing the secondary intermolecular forces present between the polymer chains and hence the plastics becomes more flexible coming to the good examples of plasticizers it generally includes vegetable oils and camphor next coming to the stabilizers the fourth additive is stabilizers so the importance of stabilizers is to impart thermal stability so what is the importance of stabilizers it gives thermal stability to the plastics that means there are few plastic materials which undergo decomposition at molding temperature so during the molding process what happens few polymers undergoes decomposition or sometimes they may undergo decoloration so in order to avoid decomposition and decoloration of the plastics we are supposed to add stabilizers and for example when you consider polyvinyl chloride so what is the plastic polyvinyl chloride so in particular this plastic at molding temperature undergoes decomposition and decolorization so in order to avoid the decomposition especially here we will add stabilizers such as white lead red lead cadmium or even barium so in general polyvinyl chloride undergoes a decomposition at molding temperature so in order to avoid the decomposition of vinyl chloride we are supposed to add either white lead red lead or cadmium or barium to the polyvinyl chloride during the molding process then it prevents the thermal decomposition of the vinyl chloride in that way stabilizers are highly useful to impart thermal stability next we will discuss about the colorants so what is the importance of colorants generally colorants will give beautiful colors to the plastics so what is the importance of colorants they impart beautiful colors to the plastic these colorants may be organic or inorganic so depending upon the nature of the chemical they imparts different colors if the additive is titanium oxide or barium sulfate then it imparts white color if 
the additive is ferric oxide or anthraquinone then it imparts yellow color to the plastic in the similar way whenever carbon black is added to the plastic then it imparts black color so depending upon the chemical we used it imparts different colors to the plastic next coming to the catalyst catalyst is mainly used in order to increase the rate of the reaction so what is the importance of the catalyst catalyst is mainly used to increase the rate of the reaction so especially for the preparation of thermosetting plastics we follow condensation polymerization and condensation polymerization is a slow process why it follows the step mechanism hence it is a slow process so in order to increase the rate of condensation polymerization we are supposed to add the catalyst coming to the good examples of catalyst it includes hydrogen peroxide benzoyl peroxide we can use either copper or silver these are good examples of catalyst so always catalyst is added to the plastics to increase the rate of the reaction especially during the preparation of thermosetting plastics they use catalyst to increase the rate of the reaction next coming to the last ingredient that is lubricants so what is the purpose of lubricants lubricants are added to the plastics for the flawless and glossy finish and also to make the molding process easy so what is the very purpose of lubricants lubricants are added to the plastic in order to provide flawless and glossy finish at the same time lubricants helps in making the molding process easy that means it prevents the sticking of the article into the molding equipment in that way lubricants are highly useful to the plastics so coming to the good examples of lubricants they generally includes oils wax soaps etc this is all about the compounding of plastics if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day